how do you get people to open up more? Because it gets pretty boring talking about the weather and sports and the people you know. And if you really want to get to know somebody, you want to find out what makes them tick. But you don't want to do that therapist speak. Oh, how do you feel about that? How does that make you feel? Or interrogate them. Or ask a whole bunch of nosy questions. If you see something is bothering them, something's on their mind, I would come out and ask. Say, is everything okay? That's all you have to say, is everything okay? And they might say, yeah, it's fine. Why do you ask? Well, you know, you're just not as talkative. You know, that's fine. I just want to make sure, you know, I'm always here if you want to talk. Or if you know they're dealing with something, I would ask like, okay, so how's it going at the office? Are you still having problems with your mean boss? And if they're like, and they don't want to say anything, say, you know, I had something similar. And then recount your story because if they feel like they can commiserate with you that you've been through something like that, then they're going to be more open to sharing, to talking. You just want to be a good listener and you don't want to say, and you don't want to try to top them ever. <laughs> like, oh, well, that happened to you. Well, I'll tell you what happened to me. It was worse. And then you go into some long diatribe, of everything that's going on with you. Okay, well, they're never going to share with you. They know it's always going to be about you. <sighs> so really listen all the time. And if they know you're a good listener, then slowly they might begin to share. And if they tell you something, again, don't start interrogating. Ask another question. Like they could say, well, yeah, I'm going through this really bad time. I think I want to break up with so-and-so. And then you could say, well, what is it about him or her that really maybe was the final straw. And if they just get tight-lipped, well, I'm not going to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. Then change the subject immediately. But if you can get them talking, ask a little more and a little more. And again, you want to relate to them, but you don't want to act like, oh yeah, my problem's bigger than yours. Or take the emphasis off their problem. And then all of a sudden it becomes something about you. And You know, we all do that and you don't mean it. It's not like you're trying to be all me, 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 me. But sometimes something somebody says will remind you of something and then you'll go on and on and then you're like, okay, well, back to your problem. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to change the subject. And then sometimes saying nothing, just letting them talk. And I know silence sometimes can be awkward, but if you just skip a beat, and you listen for a minute, they might like open up a little more because I know we're all inclined to just fill the, fill the dead air, but no, just take a breath and they might go on a little more and a little more until they find out that they can trust you. I think I told you the story about the lady at the bank. It still bothers me. Oh, we're going way back. I was at the bank and this lady, oh God, super smart, smarter than anyone else at the bank. She was our go-to person. She could handle anything. So one day we went in there and she just didn't seem herself. Like something was really bothering her. And I didn't know her that well. We maybe talked to her three or four times before. And I came so close to asking her something, but I felt like I was prying. And I really wish I had. Because then later when I asked for her, like a few months later, they said, no, she's gone. She had some health issue. I think something with her eyes, she couldn't work there anymore. And oh, and I know it killed her because she was, she was by far the, the smartest, most professional person at that bank. And so I wish I'd asked, I wish I had talked to her because I think on that day it would have made her feel better to talk to somebody. So if somebody shoots you down or they say, no, 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 you know what? You try. I would always ask. It, it, it won't hurt. And they could always say no.